right, guys, Ryan Steer with the movie The Texas Team at Coldwell Banker. We're downtown today to visit the Flying Saucer and meet with their beer director to learn a little bit more about their selection. Uh, hey, I'm Asa Hanrahan, Houston Flying Saucer. We're at downtown 705 Main Street in Capitol. I've been here for 14 years. I'm the beer director and general manager for The Flying Saucer. The Flying Saucer in Houston has been at 705 Main Street for the last almost 21 years. August will be our 21st birthday. We started out as the place where you could get the most beer in the city and every city we rolled out. The thought process about the Flying Saucer was uh, you could get a beer at anywhere, but you couldn't get a great beer anywhere. And we wanted to offer the most and the best selection in every market that we were in. Some breweries were opening up at the time 21 years ago, but we thought that uh, offering the best selection was better than even opening our own place. The old adage goes, why raise the minks when you can sell the fur coats? And that's what we wanted to do here at the Flying Saucer. And we've been doing it for 21 years here in Houston, Texas. I started here 14 years ago in 2007, worked my way up to general manager, and now I oversee some beer buying for the entire country and helping us come up with the good beer promotions throughout the country. Well, I think the Flying Saucer is known for really good beer. Um, what makes us unique is that we have a club. You can see the plates on the wall. You uh, join our club, it's called the UFO Club. You spend 18 bucks, you get a cool t-shirt, you get a card and you get to log in three different beers every single day you're here to work towards putting your plate on the wall. Once you hit 200 beers, uh, you're immortalized forever in our ring of honor. We have a party for you and your friends. It's been something that I've seen uh, wedding, uh, wedding engagements. I've seen uh, first date plate parties. I've seen all kinds of things over the years that have made this place really special. It's definitely something that nobody else can offer that we have. And some of my best friends are plate party people. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know where the name comes from? Uh, we have an owner named Shannon, and everything in our uh, company uh, that, that has a name likes to, it flies. So we have Flying Saucer, uh, we have Flying Fish, we have Rodeo Goat, and uh, the Flying Saucer was the first one of those. Uh, I think he liked the idea of the plates and the saucers being something in, that would make you fly through, through, the, through the moon or something along those lines. I'm not real sure where he got that, but ever since we started the Flying Saucer, uh, we, uh, every concept we have is something that flies. Rodeo Goat jumps really high, which is the same as flying allegedly. We are looking at new locations right now uh, in the north side of Houston. Uh, we have a location in Sugarland that's about to have its 10th anniversary. Uh, we're again celebrating our 21st anniversary here in downtown Houston uh, in August. I think uh, we'd like to see some more flying saucers all over the country. So if you have a place in your town that looks like a good spot for it, let us know. Asa Hanrahan, beer director for The Flying Saucer. You can find us here at The Flying Saucer Houston at 705 Main Street in Capitol. Uh, our social media is Twitter is Flying Saucer H-O-U, Instagram Flying Saucer H-O-U. We'd love to have you. So I'd love to put a good pint of beer in front of you. Just ask for me next time you're in.